What's going on, family? God bless you all. Come in, and when you come in, guys, let me know where you're tuning in and share for me real quick. I know many of you guys are probably working and um, doing a variety of things today. But come in. I'm inviting you in. Hit the share button, guys. I want to talk to you about something the Lord had on my heart yesterday and early this morning. Come on in, people of God. Hello, people of God. Come in, people of God. Good to see you all. Lori, God bless you. Dion, Kim, Donna. Hello. God bless you all. Hey, Minister Pam. God bless you. Blessings unto you all. Hey, Mary. Hit that share button, guys. Hey, Desiree. Blessings to you guys. Hey, Lynette. So good to see you. I'm giving you guys a chance to share and let me know where you guys are tuning in from. Guys, I see when you're sharing. Let me know. Well, I'll see when you share on my computer, guys. Let me make sure that you're uh, hitting that share button. Hey, Nick, how you doing? To share is to care. Share if you care, guys. Come on, people of God. Hit that share button. Thank you. El Paso, Texas is in the house. Jackson, Mississippi. Shreveport, Louisiana. Thank you, Tash Toshia. Tashia. Thank you for sharing. Cherie, thank you for sharing. Cherie Vernon Miller, thank you for sharing. I see you, you guys sharing down there. Thank you guys for sharing. Glory to the name of Jesus. Teresa, thank you for sharing three times. Dolores, Stockton, California. God bless you all. Tanya from Michigan. Mary Robinson, thank you for sharing. Tanya, thank you for sharing. Jennifer, thank you for sharing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Brittany, thank you for sharing. Betty, thank you for sharing. Noel, thank you for sharing. Teresa, thank you. God bless you all. 
on this great Tuesday afternoon. Um, I know that it is the afternoon time and many people are probably working and uh, doing a number of things, but man, God is still good and we thank God uh, for his grace and mercy uh, that he has shown toward us. And I'm so excited to be here. I want to just take a moment and talk to you guys. I was thinking about something. I mentioned it earlier on the call and um, I wanted to just come live and really talk a little bit about it, about knowing your purpose. There are some people that are living life and they're not living on purpose and they wonder why their life is just so unfulfilled. Um, when you're not doing what you were created to do, you're going to you're not going to be fulfilled. You're going to you're, you're never going to fully be satisfied and you'll find yourself. Obviously, we know time is constantly moving. You'll mess around to be 35 years old, 40 years old and don't know why you're living. And that's not a good place to be to be in your 30s. And you're like, OK, I don't know why I'm here. I don't know why I'm living. I don't know what my purpose of living is. And, um, you know, for some of you guys that are at work, this is great for you because some of you are working jobs that you don't really want to work. You're doing it because you have to. But what's next? What's next? What's after that job that you go to every single day? And you know you don't really want to work that job. You're doing things because you have to. And that's really no way to live life. When God owns the cattle on a thousand hills and the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, you are a child of the king. Why is it that you're just doing just enough to get by in life when you could be doing a thing? I remember growing up, there was a saying that once you find what you love and you do what you love, you'll never work another day in your life. When I come into this office here in this ministry it's not work to me. It's not work. Yes, it's very demanding. There are times that this job gets very stressful. There are times that because I'm moving in my calling, it gets very demanding and very stressful. But at the end of the day, I'm doing what I was called to do by God. And so I feel a sense of fulfilling, a sense of, of um, I didn't say that right, but a sense of, of um of strength when I'm doing what it is that God called me to do when I'm fulfilling my purpose. And so I want to read some scriptures I want you to think about because there are many of you guys watching me right now and you're like, I'm doing things in life. The job that I work, what's next? That's right. What's next? What's after this? After I get done working this week and I get my paycheck or I don't get my paycheck or I work and I work, what happens after that? What's next? What is my purpose? Why am I living? What is my purpose of living? Stop living life. Just you got to live on purpose. You got to live on purpose. And when you have vision and when you have purpose, you'll understand the pain. You'll go through things. You'll deal with things better. Watch what Psalm 16 11 says. It says, you will show me the way of life, granting me the joy of your presence and the pleasures of living with you forever. When you finally find your purpose of living, it's pleasurable. It's no longer work. When you find the way of life, going to work and being miserable on your job and being miserable with what you do for a living and you're only doing it because you have to be able to earn a living, that's not living a pleasurable life. That's not living a pleasurable life. So he says, you will show me the way of life. The way of your life, somebody remember this, is your purpose. The way of my life is different and the way of your life is different because our purposes are different. My way of life is ministry. This is what I do. This is who I am. This is what God has called me and put in me from the foundation of the world. And so he says in the scripture, he says, you will show me the way of life, granting me the joy of your presence. When you walk in purpose, you walk in God's presence. 
Y'all missed it. When you walk in purpose, you walk in God's presence and the pleasures of living with you forever. You first find your purpose. You then find God's presence and you will then further forevermore live in the pleasures of God. I want you to understand. So find your purpose for living. Find your purpose. Find your purpose. What is your purpose? What did God call you to do? What is it that you're anointed to do? What is it that God put you on this earth to do? Do y'all hear me today? Watch this. The second scripture is a very familiar one in Jeremiah 29, 11. It says, I know the plans I have for you. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. God knew the plans he had for you when you were in your mother's womb. The Bible teaches us. Watch this, what it says. It says, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans of good and not of disaster. Some of you are working jobs where it's really a disaster to your destiny. Some of you are in positions in your life where it's a disaster to your destiny. My God from glory. To give you a future and a hope, he says. A future and a hope. If you guys haven't shared this video, I want you to share it right now. This is going to bless somebody. And at the end of this, I'm going to pray that you will find your purpose. And that you will find the presence of God and that you will live forevermore in the pleasures of the glory of God. I'm going to pray for you today. Ephesians 2 and 1, uh, 10. Watch this. Ephesians 2 and 10. It says, for we are God's masterpiece. For we are God's masterpiece. The workmanship of God. Somebody put, I am the clay. He's the potter. We are the clay. Somebody put in there, I am the clay. I am the clay. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus. So we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. Same thing Jeremiah is saying. Same thing he's saying. Same thing he's saying. So watch this. Essentially, you have to understand this. God strategically made you. Uniquely, you're, the Bible teaches us that we're uniquely and wonderfully made. And I want to make a, an appeal to you guys. You may be working that job and it's like, okay, I'm just doing it just because I have to do it. Because this is the way I'm going to pay my bills. And this is how I take care of my children. But let me tell you something, people of God. God's intent for you in living was not just so you can do enough to get by. Just so you can, hey, just kind of, you know, escape through life and, and just kind of, you know, do enough to say, hey, well, as long as I can have enough, um, you know, money to pay these bills, but yet I'm miserable all during the week. That was never God's intent. That was never God's intent. And I want to challenge you today to find God's purpose for your life, to find his plan for your life, to find his promise for your life. And can I tell you, people of God, something sometimes the discovery of God's plan and his promise will come through the pain and it will come through the problems and some of you may be dealing right now and you're feeling like you're in pain. And God is saying, it's in the pain that you'll discover the purpose. It's in the pain that you'll discover the prize and the promise. Thank God for the pain. Because it's in the pain that I can propel into my promise. I want to challenge you today. I made up my mind a long time ago. Life is too short to work a job that I'm miserable on. To be 
to be, you know, enslaved and imprisoned by relationships and religion and rules and and uh, routine. Some of you are captivated by your own routine. Every morning you get up, you do the same thing. You get up, you brush your teeth, you go take a shower, you go to a job that you hate, you're miserable, you come home, you're mad at everybody. You go to church from time to time, but God says, no, that's your routine and you cannot allow your routine to imprison you. You cannot be confined by your routine, your relationship, rules, or religion. I want to expand your borders. I was going over a lesson that I'm teaching tonight in Bible study in the book of Isaiah. And man, how and it was not just the prayer of Jabez where the Lord talked and dealt with expo, expanding borders. You have to kick out of your borders and kick out of those confinements that you have in your life. You're saying, okay, this is the job I have and this is the best I can get. The devil is a lie. That's a lie from the pit of hell. You can get a job where you'll actually be happy. You can get a job where you'll make more than enough money, where you'll have money left over when you get done paying those bills. You can have a job where you can actually live in a gated community. What's wrong with it? How come God can't do it? How come? What's wrong with it? What's wrong with you making 40000 more than what you currently make? Is that unrealistic? You got to expand your thinking. Expand your thinking. No longer should you be captivated and confined. By your routine. If you're miserable, today is the day that you put a plan in action. I may be on a job now that I'm miserable. I don't want to work it. I'm tired. I'm drained. Some of you guys are emotionally drained because you're not doing what God created you to do. You have to do what God created you to do. Stimulate your plan, your purpose. Stimulate the plan that God has for your life. And that's how you're going to. It's just like when people go work out and they run and they go jogging and they go running. It feels like life is pumping into them. You know why that is? Because that's what the body was created for. But when all you do is lay back and lay on the sofa and sit at home and eat and watch TV, you feel down and, and, and defeated and drowsy and you feel, you feel um, uh, 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 just low uh, physically, drained physically, mentally and emotionally. Because guess what? Your body was not created to just sit. It was created to move. To run, to stimulate, to exercise, to be active. We have vans sitting out on our parking lot, church vans. Sometimes they go a whole season not being started up. And then when you go to start it up, it can't start up because it's been drained through the season. It wasn't created to just sit there. It was created to be cranked up and to be driven and to be gassed up. It was created to move. Some of you are in positions in your life and you're tolerating things. When God is saying, no, it's a new, you know, we pass, we're in the second month of this year. And God is saying right now, find that thing that makes you feel good. Find that thing in your life that makes you feel like you have a purpose. Not just I'm doing it because I got to earn a paycheck. You may start out that way, but you can't end that way. That's no way to live life. I remember, I mean, there are conversations I've had with people in their 30s and their 40s, and they're like, I still haven't found my purpose. It's a heartbreaking situation to be in when you get to age and you're like, okay, I still haven't found my purpose. God's calling for you today 
to find your purpose. He's calling for you today to find your purpose. When you find your purpose, you will find the presence of God. And when you find the presence of God, you will live in pleasures forevermore. Purpose, presence, pleasures. Purpose, presence, pleasures. God wants you to walk in purpose. Today is the day where you say, you know what? I'm a, that'll do won't work anymore. I'm not doing a job just because this is the only job I can find or because this is what I've been doing for 20 years or because this is what my degree is in or because this is all I know or because my mother thought I should do this or because my dad would thought I would do this. No, moving forward, I'm walking in my purpose. Somebody type it in the comments. I'm walking in my purpose. I'm walking in my purpose. I'm walking in my purpose. No more will I walk just living life by mishap or coincidence. No, I'm walking in purpose. You will feel so much better when you finally get to walk in purpose. Hallelujah to Jesus. As you guys have shared this video, I'm going to pray with you. Type it in there. I'm walking in my purpose. As you've shared this, I'm getting ready to pray. You need to walk in your purpose. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you now for every voice, every person that's under the sound of my voice. Jesus, I thank you. Father, I thank you that you're allowing and you're opening up heaven as it relates to your people being able to walk in their purpose, hence now and forevermore. Father, open up the windows of heaven that will pour out ideas and strategies that will cause your people to walk on purpose and live on purpose, God, that they won't be torn down by a lack of purpose in their life. But Father, now I declare that you will speak to your people now as they believe you. Speak to them. Speak your purpose and speak your will and speak your promise into their hearts right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we believe you now and we receive our purpose in Jesus name. In Jesus name, we receive purpose now, God, in the matchless name of Jesus. We receive purpose. We walk in purpose in Jesus mighty name. Everybody say amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Walk in your purpose. Walk in your purpose. Shamando Lobo Walk in your purpose. Walk in your purpose. No more will you just walk to be walking, walking empty, not knowing where you're going. Now I'm walking in my purpose. Anything that is not conducive to my purpose, I let it go. I release it. I move it out of my life in the name of Jesus. Somebody repeat after me. Anything that is not conducive to my purpose, I cancel it. I terminate it. I move it out of my life. I move it out of my life. Any person that is not good for my destiny, I move you out of my life in the name of Jesus. Any person, any relationship that is a hindrance to my destiny, I move it out of my life. I cancel the assignment of the enemy out of my life in the name of Jesus. I want you to say it, say it, say it. I move it out of my life. I embrace my purpose. I embrace me. I embrace who I am. I embrace my purpose. I embrace what you've called me for. God, I embrace the plans that you had in my life for me and for my life before the foundations of the world. Jesus, I receive your plan and your purpose for my life. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Glory to God. Receive God's plan and his purpose for your life. 
Some of you are watching me right now and you're working a dead end job and you know you don't want to be there. I don't know who I'm talking to. It was on my heart. I wanted to come on. You know you don't want to be there. But you're doing what you got to do. This has to be the year and the season that God opened up purpose opportunities, purpose doors, purpose relationships, purpose friendships, purpose connections. Everybody that will come into your life, I declare it, that they will be conducive for your destiny and for your purpose. In the name of Jesus. 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 Somebody type in the name of Jesus. Put it in the comments. Glory to the name of the Lord God. Glory to the name of the Lord God. Glory to the name of the Lord God. Monique, God is going to give you clarity. Receive it. Open up your ears to hear as the Lord is going to speak to you. And as the Lord is going to give you clarity, says the Lord, even as the God began to open up your ears. And as God began to give you clarity concerning his voice and concerning his plan and his will for your life. I want you to open up your ears and know that God is with you. My God, and he's stirring the steering the ship. Don't you try to control it because now the Lord says, I am in control. I am in control. I am in control. Trust me in this season. Know that I am God moving forward. Know that I am God moving forward. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not to your own understanding. He says, acknowledge me in all of your ways and I'm going to direct your path. I'm going to direct your path. I'm going to direct your path. I'm going to direct people out of your life and I'm going to direct people into your life. If you shall just trust me, says the spirit of God. God, we thank you and we give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the praise. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Destiny is going to locate you. I declare it in the name of Jesus. Destiny is going to locate you. Destiny is going to locate you. Purpose is going to find you in the name of the Lord. Purpose is going to find you. You won't live your life and be empty any longer because your purpose and opportunities for your purpose is going to find you in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Oh God, we bless your name, Jesus. Mando robo There's a person, I keep seeing the name. First name is spelled K-I-N-E. Last name, it says Marie on here. That individual, the Lord says, you have a hunger and a thirst for me. You've been literally chasing and pursuing the Lord. And just as you pursue the Lord, the Lord says unto you that I'm going to cause purpose to pursue you. And this season, you're going to find uncommon opportunities that will come to you. Uncommon phone calls. Because the Lord says purpose is going to find you in this season, says the Lord. Get ready for a new label and a new name. I don't know what was happening. It looked like somebody around you just went to a, a doctor's appointment and they the doctors labeled them with something. But the Lord says, don't you worry, because remember, there's a new label coming and I'm going to redeem you in this season, says the Lord. For the Lord says, I'm going to open up new doors for you and I'm going to create new barriers. I don't know who this is that's been agitating you, but the Lord says, I'm getting ready to lift you up and I'm going to cause you to flow in an unusual anointing in the name of Jesus. And remember, I told you this. I don't know what the situation, I keep seeing something with transit, but God says I'm opening up transportation doors, even for you, says the Lord. In Jesus' name, we thank you, God. Hallelujah. We give you the glory. Hallelujah. God, we bless your name. Glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Kimberly, God bless you. Glory to God. 
God's going to show you your purpose. Listen, people of God, I'm getting ready to go, but I want to say this to you. I'm going to be back, Lord's will, tonight. I think we got some bad weather coming through St. Louis tonight. If it's the Lord's will, if you're in St. Louis, join me tonight at Greater Deliverance Church at 7 p.m., okay, first of all. If the weather ain't bad, we usually don't cancel. I'll see you tonight. But at 9 p.m. tonight, people of God, meet me back right here. I'm going to come on tonight at 9 p.m. and we're going to continue this conversation. And I want to minister to some of you guys tonight. So be available. Set your alarms. Go up on the page, on my page. If you go to um, the top of my page, Terrence Jones, and under following, if you go under, under following, this is what I want you to do. I want you to, um, if you go to my page and you go under following, where it says if you're following, if you haven't liked the page, like it and follow it, right? Um, click the option where it says see first, okay? Where it says see first, I'm going to show you all. There is an option on my page. If you go, okay, I'm trying to find. Okay, if you go over here where it says following, where it says following, click that, see first. That's what you need to do, see first. Okay, because when I come on tonight, you guys need to um, catch what's going to happen tonight. I think there's going to be a wind of God's glory that's going to meet us tonight. So do that. And if you have not already subscribed to Morning Prophetic Encounter, I want you to do something for me. Also, you need to text the word PRAY, P-R-A-Y to 69922. That's how you get connected with me. Get connected with the ministry that way. Morning Prophetic Encounter and even Facebook ministry. You can do that by texting PRAY. P-R-A-Y to 69922. I'm going to put it at the bottom of the screen. All right. And then I'm going to pin it. So text the word pray. P-R-A-Y to 69922. And okay. That's if my computer will allow me to. But um, do that, guys. And you're going to be connected that way. Okay. Go ahead and do that, and I'll see you guys tonight. God bless you all, and I will see you tonight around 9 p.m. Central Time. Central Time is when I'll see you. Don't forget, text PRAY, P-R-A-Y, to 69922. Text PRAY, P-R-A-Y, to 69922. God bless you, people of God.